Currency pairs. Pairing up two currencies together is what makes this all possible. Currency pairs is what makes Forex trading possible. The construction of the currency pair also makes it possible to sell as easily as you can buy. In order to make a trade possible, one currency must be compared to another currency. It's the change of the exchange rate between the two currencies that makes money a reality. When you are looking at one currency, if the exchange rate changes and you view that currency on its own, there is no real change in buying power. A dollar is still worth a dollar. It's not until you compare that currency's strength or weakness to another currency that you're going to see a difference. Now, an example of a currency pair is the euro USD. The first currency in the equation is called the base currency. Now, the second currency is known as the quote currency. Now, this has also been dubbed the counter currency. So, in the pair of the euro USD, the way it's combined, the euro is first, the USD is second. The base currency in this case is the euro, and the quote currency in this case is the US dollar. When the base currency gets stronger, the quote currency weakens in comparison. And when the base currency weakens, the quote currency strengthens. So when the first currency gains some strength, relative to the second currency, the second currency will appear to get weaker. Now, this is strictly a comparison between the two currencies. When the base currency strengthens, the chart will go up. So when we're looking at this reflected on a chart, we're going to see the chart rise when the base currency strengthens. When the quote currency strengthens, the chart will go down. That is the second currency in the pair, the euro USD. The USD will be the quote currency. If this strengthens, what it will do is make the base currency in comparison look weaker. So the chart will go down. When the base currency strengthens, the chart will go up. Now, this is an example of a chart. We'll take a look at how this is reflected on an actual chart. So when the base currency strengthens, as you can see from the bottom left to the middle, upper part of the chart, the base currency becomes stronger. The chart rises. Now, when the quote currency strengthens, the chart will go down. As the quote currency gets stronger, the base currency in comparison gets weaker. So the chart will drop. So from the middle of the chart down to the lower right hand side, we see an instance where the quote currency strengthens and in comparison, the base currency weakens. The chart essentially represents the strength or weakness of the base currency. This is just an easy way to remember this. In the currency pair, the euro USD, the chart will rise when the euro gains strength over the US dollar. When the US dollar gets stronger, the euro will lose its strength again in comparison. It's always a comparison of the two currencies in the pair. The main currency pairs that contain the USD are called the majors. Some examples of the majors. Well, these are essentially the majors. When we're trading the majors, you're going to hear that traders are trading the majors or sticking to the majors or the majors are reflecting some strength. Um, these are the currency pairs that they're talking about. The euro US dollar, the pound US dollar, the Australian dollar US dollar, the New Zealand dollar US dollar, the US dollar Canadian dollar, the US dollar Swiss franc, and the US dollar Japanese yen. These are the essential currency pairs. Most traders are going to stick to just the majors. They're going to stick to just these currency pairs. It's more than enough to get a lot of trading action. Currency pairs that do not involve the US dollar are called cross currencies. Now, some examples of cross currency pairs are the euro pound, the euro Swiss franc, the euro Japanese yen, the pound Australian dollar, uh, the pound Japanese yen, the Australian dollar Swiss franc, the New Zealand dollar Japanese yen, and the Australian dollar New Zealand dollar. We can pair different currencies up with different currencies and make an assortment. And if they do not contain the US dollar, they are called 
cross currencies. Now we can get specific kind of crosses. For example, here are some example of euro crosses. These are currency pairs that don't contain the US dollar, but each have the euro in it. We have the euro pound, the euro Swiss franc, and the euro yen, for example. Uh, some pound crosses would be the pound Australian dollar, the pound Canadian dollar, and the pound Japanese yen. Some franc crosses, now these are currency pairs with the Swiss franc, would be the euro franc, the pound franc, and the CAD franc. Some yen crosses, currency pairs that contain the Japanese yen, the euro yen, the pound yen, the New Zealand dollar Japanese yen. So there are going to be some traders during different times of day that might stick to just the pound crosses or the Australian dollar crosses. Uh, there is something which you come to learn called uh, an Asian session where not too many currency pairs are moving, but the Australian dollar is uh, doing a little bit of action. The Japanese yen has got a little bit of action, but the uh, market is going to be limited to these kinds of currencies. So a trader might say that they are trading the Australian dollar crosses, which means they have an assortment of currency pairs that they're looking at, but each one will contain the Australian dollar. Or they'll be looking at some yen crosses. And again, they'll be looking at a variety of currency pairs, but each one will contain the Japanese yen.